Hey everybody, Mark here, also Two Robot Guy. Going to do a quick review of some of my entries uh, for the NASA Handrail Challenge, uh, sponsored by GrabCAD. Uh, so to give you guys a little bit of background, I've been printing a lot, basically every day, um, with new designs and new iterations of, uh, of of ideas for the NASA Handrail Challenge. Um, so to so start in the beginning, uh, this was one of the first prints I did. Uh, this was a proof of concept. Uh, basically, this uh, the, the rail slides into it uh, with a locking feature. Um, it gave a pretty strong hold. Uh, so that was the first one I did um, just for proof of concept to, to say that, that a thread on the side will work. Um, from there, I went and did some uh, research. Uh, with the research, I came up with this design, and this is called a, a butcher style thread. Uh, you might be able to see um, on the thread profile that there's a 45 degree and then a 7 degree relief on the top side. That gives it all the strength in the compression, um, but doesn't give it that much strength in the elongation. Uh, so with this design, it gives it the most strength in one direction, um, basically the clamping force. Uh, these threads are typically used for cannons um, or heavy artillery because they can slide into place like this, slide into place, and you can lock them in. Uh, this is 45 degrees and it locks it in place like that. Uh, this gave me a lot of insight but did not have enough throw to it uh, to give a nice tight uh, hold. So from this design, I did a little bit more research and came up with this one. Uh, this one is the same idea, but instead of four blades, there's only two blades now, as you can see. Um, and the, the, the design is much thinner. Um, so just like the other one, uh, you would kind of have to have all three of these pieces held in your hand. You put it over the rail. You'd slide this into place and lock it down. And it, it gave a pretty, pretty decent hold at the beginning, but over time, it loosens up. And you might be able to see, um, but this surface right here, or this piece, is not perpendicular uh, to this plane. Um, so it's applying a lot of stress right down at the root of the thread. Um, so... This was my first uh, stumbling block in this design. Um, how much force is enough to keep it tight and how much is too much force? Um, with too much force, the, the pin broke. And what I mean broke, it broke. Uh, this is just a, a handful of the ones I printed. I printed a lot. Um, but you can see that when they broke, it was always at the, the heel of it. Right at the bottom, it already broke. Um, because uh, because there is a moment being placed on it, so it's not being pulled straight across, uh, it's it's being kind of levered, or, you know, kind of uh, being, I guess, levered uh, on one of the edges, and then the crap, uh, or the, the uh, crack is propagated, um, and then it just rips. Um, so... That was one of the issues I had at the beginning of the design. So there's a couple of them that I printed. But, uh, but I said, oh, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to keep on working on the design to see what I can do to give it some more strength. So with some more strength, um, I found out you could print these. If this is going to come out, this one's really tight. There we go. Um, you can print them not... Uh, flat, so that would be flat. I printed them at a slight angle, so this was the, the base of the plane. Um, you can see that it was printed at a slight angle. Um, that did give it more strength, I'd say maybe 20% more strength, um, but it still was susceptible to breaking. Um, so there's one of the designs. Um, I went and made from this one to that one, I made the uh, uh, where the arm is a little bit thicker, thinking it would give me a little more strength. It did, but not too much. This still the crack, the the, the crack propagated um, right where the split was. Um, to try to make it so there wasn't a bending moment on it, I printed these four pieces. This has been cut post process uh, to 
understand more of what was happening. Um, but this gave me a lot of strength. Um, the only problem with it was it, it's four pieces. Um, it's kind of big and bulky. Um, but it, it was the same idea. So that would slide in and this would lock down and that would lock up. So that was a uh, that was the next design I made. Um, had some advantages, disadvantages. Learned that you did not have to print this rail um, perfectly uh, vertical on the posts. But you actually can print it at an angle, and it still gave you the same strength. Um, so that was that was really interesting. Um, so from this design, I said I'm going to go back to the original one um, and make it so it was a complete unit. So this is the the next one in the series. But this is cool. This is I haven't seen this in a lot of designs. Um, but there's kind of a dovetail cut into it. So this piece goes and slides in. Um, so when it's in the out position, it holds there. Um, and there's a longer arm down here, so when the um, when it go when it when the uh, the handrail slides into place, it gives a little more strength in that direction. Um, sliding this over and putting it back, it was stronger. I started doing some tests on it, and as you can see, let's see if we can get that off. As you can see, the crack propagated again. Um, so everybody that's printing. Uh, threads vertically it's not when is it gonna it's not if it's gonna crack it's when it's gonna crack um it happened to every one of mine no matter what density what strength i gave it um printing it vertically you get a lot less strength out of it um so that was that was the last one i designed was uh, that one uh, then i actually went back to the drawing boards of, of basically one of my one of my uh, most original designs uh, was to have a thread in the back. But I learned from every one of these going across um, which way to print everything, um, what gave it the best strength. So, so marrying the, the best of all of them, so this has a support in the back that gave me a lot of strength, and using the thread idea, um, I was able to come up with this really, really small design. Um, I used to, have, I, the first one I did of this one, it did not, um, it was two separate pieces, but I was able to print this one um, and make it so it was just one piece. So kind of I married these together with a little mix of this one uh, that gave me this. So this design has a, a little bit of support. So that's the, all the support that's on this one. Um, being a riprap kind of guy, I don't like support. Uh, but with this design, um, I want to keep the most strength properties of of the print. So the most strength properties is having it around uh, the rail. Uh, so it had a little bit of support. It's barely any support, but that's just what it is. Uh, but this is the, the newest design. It is sleek. It is small. It is easy to work with. Um, the the T rail slides right into place. You can lock it down. It's just the right height. Um, but this is what I like the best about it. So it it, it has a thread right here. So that that becomes um, uh, that goes and unthreads. Uh, but there's a thread in the opposite side right here. So you can see it stays in one piece. If you want it to be in one piece. Um, this is a very unique thread. This is still that butcher style thread. Um, but instead of being printed vertically, this thread was printed horizontally. And a little bit of support was put on the bottom of it. But printing it horizontally gives it the most amount of strength in that pins. Um, Nathan on uh, on the GrabCab forum talked about the strength values that you get in this direction compared to this direction. He prints all his pins horizontally now instead of vertically in his designs. So this design uh, is really simple. It has the least amount of plastic of all of them. Um, but basically, uh, the astronaut would go and then slide it into place. Um, there is a small relief. You might be able to see it. There's a, there's a one millimeter relief on either side. Um, the one thing I did not want to do was harm the handrail when you slid it into place. But all it is is just a, an easy slide into place. And then... You twist it in, um, so it's coming off this one, and then now it's free floating. Um, so with it free floating, you go then and just 
latch it in place. And that's it. You can see it does deform, but still all my strength in this in this uh, direction. Um, so I'm not having any issues. And this is the strongest hold I've had out of all of them, every one of them. And the reason it's so strong is that this is pulling on both sides and squeezing it down. Um, it's a very thin design. I think I'm going to come up with another one and put uh, another one of these on this side. Uh, just so and the astronauts have an option. Um, but this is uh, the newest one. I'm going to upload it tonight. Um, this is the best design I've had. It is uh, has low amount of plastic it uses. Um, it's strong. It's durable. It has the least amount of leak uh, linkage points. Um, I saw some other ones that are really cool designs, but there's a lot of intricate pieces. This, it's two pieces. You take off the support material, and let's see if this, there we go. So all it is, is two pieces. Oh, all it is, is these two pieces. One, two, it's printed just like, printed just like this. And then you just remove some of the support material on the bottom, you remove some inside, uh, took no more than a minute, and it slides right into place. Um, when you're not using it, I like to keep it just like this. And there it is. Um, oh, also some other things I, I, I learned uh, with printing this is that infill stinks. <laughs> um, to be nice, uh, if you guys are printing uh, with anything, try to turn your infill off. Um, or increase the amount of shell layers. Um, the shell layers give you that strength in that one direction um, when infill just infills. No matter how much uh, infill you put into it, it's still not attached to the outside of it, and it's just basically just stuff in the way. Um, so when you're printing anything, turn your shell value all the way up. So if it's just, if it's able to print um, continuous strands inside of it, it'll give you the most amount of strength. Um, but that's my design. I hope you guys like it. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of testing, hopefully, before the contest is over. Um, but hands down, this is the simplest design. Um, the least amount of parts, the least amount of moving parts um, that you could have uh, 3D printing it. And it gives you an unbelievable hold. Um, so, guys, I hope you like it. Please uh, put some comments down on the bottom with any ideas. I'm always open ideas, and I'm going to post these files uh, up tonight. Thanks.